One day we had a child come into our office and he was 10 or 11 years old and he wanted to tell us what he wanted in his bag of hope. And so I was talking to this young man and trying to get him to tell me what he wanted in his bag. And so I said, well, what do you need? And he listed um, some, you know, maybe some clothes. And I said, well, you know, is there anything else? And he said, well, um, I don't know. And I said, do you need shoes? He said, oh, can you get me shoes? I said, yeah, we can get you shoes. I said, what kind of shoes? And he said, you know, any brand. I'm not, I'm not picky and I can't ask you, you know, to get me any specific brand, but just whatever you can find. Even if they're used, they're fine. About that time, his foster mom whispered to me that he had been bullied and picked on since moving to this new school because of his clothing. And so he said, can I have red high top Nike tennis shoes? And, um, it was hard for me to maintain my composure because I have a son at home and he has four pairs of Nikes in his closet. So, of course, we went to the shoe store and we got these red Nike tennis shoes. And red tennis shoes to him meant the world. It meant that he could walk into school and belong or feel like he belonged. About a week later, um, we got a note in the mail. It says, thank you so much for all the great things you gave me. You should have seen me when I went to school matching from shoes to shirt. I love the books you gave me and the clothes you provide for me. Also, thank you for the Bible. I actually needed one, and I wanted to say thank you to all the people who supplied me with this great gift. So, you may see red shoes, but to this kid, it was a sign of normalcy that he could walk into school and be normal like all the other children. It changed his whole outlook on life, and so I just encourage people to get involved because you never know what a little thing like shoes could do to change a kid's world.